What's going on guys, my name is Mark Wagner and today I'm going to be showing you several ways that dropshippers commonly get scammed. I'm going to be sharing my personal experiences as well as how you can avoid getting scammed. So let's get into it. I would say the most common way that dropshippers get scammed is with Instagram influencers. Generally what happens is you contact them and everything looks good, they got a decent price, you set up a time and date, get the post sent over, and then you send the money and they stop responding. There's honestly not much that you can do to avoid this because some people are just assholes and it's hard to tell from their Instagram page. Luckily for you, you can almost always get your money back as long as you pay through PayPal goods and services. You always want to make sure you're doing this, whether it's for an Instagram influencer or any other type of business transaction where you have a chance of getting scammed. I've gotten scammed by a ton of influencers and honestly, it's just more of an inconvenience than anything else. The second way that many dropshippers get scammed is through AliExpress suppliers. I always try to avoid new stores or products that don't have many reviews, but I've even gotten scammed by products that have hundreds of positive reviews. One of the ways that I've gotten scammed is the supplier hasn't shipped the product with ePacket even though I probably paid extra for it. I remember at one point I had like over a hundred orders that were shipped from China Post and I wanted to pull my hair out because I got so many emails. There's a lot of things to look for to see if a supplier is trustworthy so if you'd like me to make an entirely separate video on that just let me know in the comments. Another way that dropshippers commonly get scammed is through mentorship. I feel like mentorship is kind of a hit or miss and I've heard of people getting scammed for hundreds or even thousands of dollars from people that didn't deliver. If you are going to be purchasing mentorship or consulting calls or whatever from someone make sure that A they're trustworthy and B always pay through PayPal goods and services. On that note, I offer consulting calls and I won't scam you, so hit me up if you're interested. Another way that dropshippers get scammed is through partners. I know a ton of people that work with other people on their Shopify stores and that's cool, but I also know a ton of people that have gotten scammed out of a whole lot of money doing that. It sounds bad, but I really do try to avoid working with anyone whenever possible. And when I do have to work with someone, I always try to get a contract in place that outlines the payment and the responsibilities for each party. The last way that many dropshippers get scammed is through courses. Just like mentorship, it's kind of a hit or miss because I know there's many courses out there that are hundreds of dollars yet contain super basic information. I remember paying like $800 for a course and 95% of the same information I could find on the dude's YouTube channel. Before you buy a course, just make sure you do a ton of research and see what other people think about it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I was able to help prevent you from making the same mistakes that I did. I'm lucky enough to have never gotten scammed out of a huge amount of money, but I think it's kind of because I always keep my eyes peeled and I recommend that you do the same as long as you're in this space. If you took some value out of this video, feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.